Shit, 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 run, run, shit, fuck, run, fuck, shit, I'm not fighting all those brutes, that is a fucking suicide mission if I ever heard one, that's a fucking reaper foot, anyway, activate this motherfucker. Four. Oh, this is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Run, 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 run. run. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Fuck the shit, fuck the shit, fuck the shit, fuck the shit, fuck the shit. Go, 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 go. Ah, Jesus fucking shit. Ass balls. Fucking activate this shit. Now get your asses out of here. Out of nowhere, bam, to the ground. And that's how you kill a Reaper. Research invaluable. She's okay? Headed to safety now. Her survival fortunes will stabilize new government should Rex get any ideas. Good match. Promising future for Grogan. Damn! Control room atop of Shroud Tower. Must take elevator up. You're going up there? Yes. Manual access required. Have to counteract STG sabotage. It should cure disperse properly. Morton, this whole thing is coming apart. There's gotta be another way. Remote bypass impossible. STG countermeasures in place. No time to adjust cure for temperature variants. No, no other option. Not coming back. Suggest you get clear. Explosion likely to be problematic. Morton, no! Shepard, please. Need to do this. My project, my work, my cure. My responsibility. Would have liked to run tests on the seashells. I'm sorry. I'm not. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. I love Morden. It's a sad moment, but I love Morden.
Yeah, that moment gives me the goosebumps. But we ago, did it. My father betrayed me in this place. His own son. He tried to kill me, so I had to kill him. Right over there. That's what the Genophage reduced us to. Animals. But you changed that today, Shepard. Now we'll fight for our children, not against them. It's just a pity Morden had to die. He wouldn't have had it any other way. And I'm sure wherever he is, he's putting in a good word for us. We'll name one of the kids after him. Maybe a girl. <laughs> but you, Commander, we can thank you in person. Tell the Turians I'll be deploying troops to Palavan immediately. And when you're ready to kick the Reapers off Earth, you let me know. The Krogan are back in business. Goodbye, Commander. What will you do now? Spread the hope you've given us. Even now, there are clans gathering in the Kelphic Valley. I'll go speak to them and make sure this gift isn't squandered. Thank you for all that you've done. And know that Erdnot Bakara calls you a friend. Yay. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the Genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. We don't. Pack it. Out. Commander, Erdnot Rax has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. I'm glad we can help each other out. It's the only way we're going to defeat the Reapers. That much is certain. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Always. Morton dying, it can't be easy. I'll it sleep isn't. when I'm dead. Yeah. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. Ah, yes, back to the dream sequence. You thought we were done with it? You thought it was a one-time ordeal? Oh, no, no, no. There's some kind of couch over here. Oh, it's a bench with a kid on it. Okay. Play another game of follow the kid? Alright. Where'd you go, you little bastard? There you go. Someone else might have died. Shepard. 
No, don't run, god damn it. I can't run in my dreams, damn it. Get back here. Whoa. He just blinked out of existence again. I don't know how to process that. get to watch him burn to death again. That's just lovely. <laughs> Was I sleeping in my leather jacket? You serious? Like, I've slept in my standard so. clothes before, but never slept in my leather jacket Shepherd, before. There's something you need to hear. Seems uncomfortable. All right. Is this a bad time? Yes. Thinking of some friends who aren't around thanks to this war. That's thanks to the Reapers, not you. Are you thinking about anyone in particular? My dick. No one I want to talk about right now. I understand. Didn't you have something for me? The Solarian like Council pussy? has an urgent matter. Let me guess. She called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander. Can I help you, Counselor? Shepard, I want you to understand that I owe my position to you, and it's not something that I take lightly. Were it not for you, that weak-minded counselor Valorn would still be alive, leading the Salarians down the sewage pipe. But now I'm forced to champion a cure for the genophage. It's like saying we need a hurricane to put out a wildfire. Counselor, Krogan are about to die in droves so your people don't have to. That's your message. Human statesmanship at its finest. Speaking of... I need to talk to you about humanity's representative, Counselor Udina. He's moving vast sums of money. Not surprising. It's kind of a big bag. From what I can tell, you won't like the news. Man, I don't Come like news in general. On the Citadel. Ishiel out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCon. Yeah, fuck him. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Go on. Now that I know your weakness, we may have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. All right. I'll give her something solid to hold in her hands. Anyway. All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? Uh, I give up. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turian gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're shitting me! The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right, why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. <laughs> Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? 
figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> oh god, I love these jokes. Anyway, Garrus. I never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I <laughs> thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. Uh. To save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? We get Krogan bitches. Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. There's enough misery in this universe. It's nice to see something go right for a change. Can't say I've ever really witnessed history in the making like this. Well, except for Sovereign attacking the Citadel. And then there was the Collector base, but this one felt good. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if some young, hot-headed Krogan took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Solarian deal. I'd be lying if I said I didn't consider it. Anyone would have second thoughts about the Krogan. They just better remember you didn't act on it and return the favor. Okay, that neck position, that was lovely. Anyway. <laughs>